Okay, students, this is um, SPM paper year 2004. This is the paper 2 question from Vector. Um, okay, so if you can see, it's uh, in, in the year 2004, this is um, a 12-mark question. Okay, it is not 10. Okay, so let's have a look at it. Um, the diagram shows triangle AOB and uh, the straight line AP intersects the line AQ at point R. AQ is 104AB. Okay, so what I'm going to do is this. Um, read the question and I will label the diagram. It is always easier if you label them correctly now. Okay, before you start doing. So OP is 6X. Now OP is 6X. So let's put here that is 6X. And OA is 2Y. Put your arrow and label 2Y. And AQ is 104AB. So AQ is 104AB. So that means this is 1 and this is 3. Okay, and there's, a, there's an information that is missing in this question. Um, in the ty There's a typo. Um, it's missing. So the, the information is this. Um, OP is equals to 1 over 3 of um, OB. Okay. Alright, so um, if you don't have this information, you basically can't do the question. Alright, so this is the one. OP is 103 OB. Okay, um, so that means, that means, let's let's put in the, the relevant information. So if OP is 103 of OB, that would mean that if OP is 6X, that means uh, PB, PB here, just this PB here will be 12. Can you understand? Because it's one third, that means OB is 18. If this is 6, it's 3 times. The whole thing is 3 times of it, so this is twice of it. Okay, so 6x and 12x over here. Now, um, let's let's start now. Okay, express in terms of x of y, a, p. Okay, normally the beginning part is easy. What's a, p? A, p, a, p. Well, very easy. A, p is a, o plus o, p. Okay, so a, p is a, o plus o, p. Now, you notice this, yeah, students? I have a habit of writing down the first line. Even though it is a very easy vector, you know, one look, you can see that AP is negative 2Y plus 6X. Everybody can see that. But I make it a habit to write down the first line because if you don't have a habit, you just substitute straight away. Later, when you get a longer question, you know, like RQ is uh, AR plus AQ, you know, and, uh, and, and you have to find AQ separately. So if you don't write when it's longer, you will tend to substitute the wrong thing. Confirm. I have seen this a lot in students who, just because they don't want to write the first line please write make it a habit it is a good habit people make careless mistakes in ad math because they have terrible habit when they're writing the working that's why you make careless mistakes okay so form good habits when you're writing your uh, working and that will minimize your careless mistakes okay so let's uh, let's continue so AO is negative 2y okay plus 6x so let's write it nicely 6x minus 2y. Okay, so that's a1, right? Now, um, a2, oq, we're going to look for oq now. So can you see that oq is um, oa plus aq, or you may take oq as um, ob plus bq. Either way, it's the same thing, yeah? So oq is, I'm going to take the shorter root, okay, oa plus aq. Okay, so what's OA? OA is 2Y. And what's AQ? AQ, remember here, um, where's this? AQ, here we go. AQ is 1 over 4 of AB, so it's, uh, it's better to write it down. AQ is 1 over 4 of AB. Okay. Okay, so that's 1 over 4 of AB, right? So what's AB? AO plus OB. Correct? AO plus OB, yeah? So here's something that I said, you know, this is an example of a long, of a lengthy vector, resultant vector. Actually, you just have to expand step by step. So it's it's very good that if you write all of them down. So you don't make any mistake. So what's AO? Negative 2Y. And what's OB? That's 18X. Okay, from here. So 2Y minus 1 over 2y, to expand the bracket, plus 9 over 2x, yeah, 18 over 4, 1 over 4 plus, uh, sorry, 1 over 4 times 18, so it's 9 over 2, okay, so that's 9 over 2x plus uh, 1 and a half, okay, so 1 and a half is 3 over 2y, so that's your answer, OQ, 
is 9 over 2x plus 3 over 2y. All right. Okay, so now when I do vector, I write everything in the same working. Some students will try to find AQ separately, to write AQ outside, okay, to find AQ. Um, well, you can do that, but uh, I feel that it is better for you to write everything in one shot so that you are very clear, you know, expand it step by step so your brain goes according to the sequence instead of your walking being all over the place. Okay, so that's A, yeah? Right, now let's very quickly, uh, we're going to do... Um, we're going to do B in the next video and uh, C is the one that is a bit challenging. So um, I'm going to go, go through them in, uh, in two separate videos. Okay, see you then.